at 6, a state lawmaker calling on Governor Walker to remove Sheriff David Clark from office. Milwaukee State Representative David Crowley sent a letter to the governor today saying Clark is unfit to do his job. Eric Ross has been looking into that request. And Eric, does the governor even have the power to remove a sheriff? Good evening. Well, according to the Wisconsin Government Accountability Board, Governor Walker could legally remove Clark, but we found out that's not likely to happen. The only other alternative is for voters to collect signatures for a recall petition. There's a new push to recall Sheriff David Clark following a handful of deaths inside the jail that the sheriff has refused to explain. After the medical examiner's office released an autopsy report showing one of the inmates died from profound dehydration, Clark allegedly threatened to have the medical examiner's license pulled. Now, State Representative David Crowley is asking Governor Walker to remove Clark from office, citing Clark's willful neglect of duties, repeated inappropriate comments, his promotions of violence, and the use of intimidation against innocent civilians. After Dan Black, an airline passenger, shook his head at Sheriff Clark for wearing Cowboys gear on a flight to Milwaukee from Dallas last week, he was met by six deputies and bomb-sniffing dogs. Black filed a harassment complaint. Clark responded by posting this picture on the Sheriff's Office Facebook page that reads, if Sheriff Clark were really to harass you, you wouldn't be around to whine about it. Black's attorney and Representative Crowley see this as a threat. Under the law, Governor Walker can remove the sheriff for inefficiency, neglect of duty, official misconduct, or wrongdoing in office. Any position, be it sheriff or any others, where they're elected by the people, they're ultimately accountable to the people. And the only time historically a governor's got involved in any of those constitutional offices is if someone's clearly violated the law. Governor Walker then hinted that if people want Clark removed, they'll have to vote him out of office. It's really ultimately up to the people. When the people elect someone, agree or disagree with everything they do or say, I believe it should be ultimately left up to the people of that jurisdiction. And in order for a recall election to take place, whoever organizes the recall petition must collect at least 25% of signatures that were cast for sheriff during the last election, and it has to be done within 60 days. Back in 2014, more than 332,000 people cast ballots for sheriff, meaning just over 83,000 people would need to sign a petition approving a recall election. That, of course, is also dependent upon another candidate running for Clark's seat. Multiple calls to the sheriff's office for comment have not been returned. Charles and Shannon. All right, Eric, thanks.